some dumb stuff. Yeah. And so it is not so much a like a, a criminal mentality. The people who engage in crime, they're not the vast majority of folks. The, mm -hmm. If we really looked at who was driving crime and violence, the numbers are relatively small. But your point is well taken that when we have public housing, and again, there's, there's data and research that we just don't ever talk about, right? There's data and research that says when you concentrate poverty, when you put poor people on top of each other mm -hmm. and segregate them from the rest of the, the community, and don't give them the resources at that time. Mm -hmm. The years fact that we were struggling to about. get a, when Dominic's left, yep. what, what happens saying. when you can't go get, you still no. struggling for a grocery yeah. store in those neighborhoods. Right. I don't believe, I don't believe mm -hmm. that white people are not, let, are not capable of doing bad things. I know they important. No, 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 I'm just saying. But I look at three grocery stores in one neighborhood. You cannot separate economic opportunity and vitality and resources and talk about communities that have been choked off for a long time and it's just a mentality issue. Because then that allows aldermen, business communities, to escape a responsibility that we have to talk about these things all together. Because you're right. Where I came from, I'm very fortunate, very fortunate to have been able to go to law school. My little old SIU degree has gotten me really far. Thank you. <laughs> but most folks who came up with me didn't right. because those barriers prevent them from being able to do what they need to do. But I, we have to have, you talk about what do aldermen do. I don't understand how they get to vote on beautifying downtown without asking for things to come in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want yeah. like you to have a conversation.